Yo, ladies and gentlemen, uh, moving right along in the album reaction, uh, you're seeing this every video separately because they put out a video for every single one, but we're doing this in full, like song by song on Twitch. As you can see, these motherfuckers right here. Join us on Twitch, guys. So far, the last song before this one, my favorite by far, 10 out of 10 track. Everyone's saying that this one is just as good, if not their favorite over the last one. Then I realize how many idiots are following me on stream because there's no way. But I could be wrong. Maybe I'm the idiot. We're about to find out. Uh, join us on stream. First link in the bio, I believe. Join us on Patreon. These videos and videos on YouTube, whenever you react to like the official music video, there's a high chance that this gets blocked on YouTube. So if it's blurred right here, it's because it was initially blocked on YouTube. So if you want to see this in full, consider joining us over on Patreon. All the music videos will be there along with all other music videos that are unblocked. But let's see what we got. 21 Pilots vignette. Let's get it. This doesn't count as vignetting, guys. It's a spotlight. Unless it's vignetting of his mind. Unless he can only focus on the bad and can't see outside of the vignette in his mind. Is that a pig? All right, there is vignetting on the video. Good, good. I was about to be livid. Crip walking? It is an eagle. Not sure when it started. Peeling from his bones. Piece it back together all alone. Hope it held together long enough for heat. To pitch the greener grasses and hope that she would agree. Fresh off a of binger in the woods. Flesh covered in bites. Testing what is real, what is good. And it's been a long night. It's mm. a tribute to zombies of which I'm being. Bro, fighting off the vignette is so fire. Like fighting, like fighting off the closing of a chapter, or fighting off like blacking out, because that's what it look, feels like when you're blacking out. You vignette in your eyes, hard, bro. That's a dope ass lyric. God, I'm good. Easy. The vocal stacking, I think that's one of my favorite things about not just Tyler's voice, like Tyler's voice is nice, but the production of his voice is so fire and gives it a very like textured feel because he vocal stacks many times. He's thinking there's no way I'm headed there. Always sure footed, educated, and was never scared. Now hey. we can't hold out his hand without it shaking. Hounded by a bunch of dead when the search body found him. Fresh mm. off a binger in the woods. Hey, how many people were like thinking that he was drawing something that's related to the storyline right here? How many people have watched this 15 seconds over and over and over trying to figure out what's going on right here? Oh shit, is a map to Dima Zombies of which i become Where do I go from here? <laughs> Where do I go from here? To that's so hard, bro. All right, I'm not tripping, right? Like red is the color of the bishops and yellow is the color of like, they're not called the rebels, the banditos, right? So why is there so much red in this album? I don't know enough about the sim symbolic nature of the colors scheme of the storyline, but I do know that like red is bad, yellow is good type shit. Clancy, Clancy's the guy trying to escape. He is facing his demons. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Because we were in the house where the demons had, or the, where they had their, where the bishops had their, their robes. Because I feel like this is a battle between yellow and red for some reason. And I feel like we're so deep in red in this album. We're in trench. We were so like in yellows and blues, you know? So is this like him saying, 
fuck y'all guys, I'm reclaiming red as well. Like, I've been scared of red the whole time, but now we're facing it. I'm taking red from y'all, taking the power from you. I think this. I think the song that reminds me of this style of, of Tyler's production on his voice is the hype. Oh, got it. So Trench was trying to escape, but you can never truly escape. So Clancy is like, since you can't escape, we tried our best in Trench. We just got to face the shits. We got to face them and defeat them in our mind. That's the only. That's the only way that we're getting out of this shit. Oh my god. No, it's not me, it's for a friend. Denial is so crazy, bro. Let's see, what did he draw up? What did he draw up? That Josh? Man! What the fuck? <laughs> Bro! It's actually solid though. <laughs> Oh man, I thought it was about to be some kind of fucking crazy ending that's cryptic that like means all this into the storyline and yada yada yada. Josh. Oh, but it could be storyline. I know that people are saying that like Josh was like an imposter in the last album because he was never like officially looking at Tyler ever. So who knows? Who knows if the lore is right? But bro, that is so funny. Like without the regardless of the lore, this is such a random ending for a music video. Oh man, I got I got Josh rolled right now. Vignette is good. Vignette's good. It's not as good and not at least in my opinion. It's not that it's not as good. It is just as good as the last song. But I prefer like the melody and I prefer the rhythm of the last track. But this is definitely a more emotional track than the last one. I lied. They're they're pretty much the same. Actually, they're pretty much the same in different ways. In the other song, he's talking about like, let me take you through the through the hallways of my mind and show you why I'm like, why I'm internalizing everything and why my mental state is not great. Where this one is like acknowledging the fact that he has to acknowledge that mental state in order for him to push past it. The fact that it's a spotlight, like it's a spotlight on him the entire music video. Like, no matter how much he tries to say, nah, it's not me, it's for a friend. Like, bitch, the spotlight is on you. What are you talking about? Like, you can try all you want, but we're looking directly at you the entire time. And I also appreciate that the music videos are not like, not saying that they're not crazy high budget in any way. They're just nowhere near as highly produced in terms of like when Nico and the Niners had an official music video, right? Like they're, they're around the neon gravestones and he's trying to like get out talking about the razor blades. Save your razor blades now, nah, not nah yet. That's Nico and the Niners, right? So like that music video seems extremely like it had a million dollar budget. So that seemed like a movie where all of these, they don't seem like movies. They seem like we're inside of his mind. Like they're all very small spaces. They're all very secluded spaces. It's, it all seems very intimate, I guess you could say, because the album is more intimate than Trenches, in my opinion. And it seems much more like bringing, bringing internal emotions out. It has like two different reasons for being other than the intimacy, but also making a music video for every single song would get super expensive super quickly. So it's like, not only does it fit the storyline, but it also fits the fact that we're getting all these music videos at once. Super fire. It's a dope ass song. Dope ass song.